There's no question that technology has revolutionized banking and business. Each day, the digital world expands, making it easier to access our finances with a few swipes of our phone. More than ever in this touchless economy, many businesses have shifted to scannable QR codes and touchless payment systems, while many people have switched from exchanging cash to using Venmo or Cash App to pay back their friends for food and drinks. The world of digital cash, money we can't see nor feel, is changing the way we purchase products and even how we think about money. And in this connected ecosystem, e-payments have become widespread with almost every major social network facilitating in-app payments. China leads the world in digital payment with the most cashiers, retailers and even street vendors expecting that customers will pay with just the tap of their phone. Though exchanging money online is familiar to many, those transactions still represent a traditional currency. But China is now on track to be the first nation to introduce a government-backed digital currency. This currency is a digitally encrypted, decentralized form of money that has made headlines around the world. It's a type of digital cash that isn't cash at all. It's organized using blockchain technology, a massive peer-to-peer -peer network in which transactions are monitored by all users at once. Supporters tout the speed and security of the technology behind it, while its detractors cite the volatile market value assigned to the stateless, ephemeral monetary system. By regulating the digital currency itself, China will create the first widely adopted state-sanctioned digital currency in the world. By using blockchain technology, it becomes difficult to steal or produce counterfeit currency and makes it easy to trace transactions along the network if needed. All indications show that the digital RMB should be coming out in a trial period very soon. These new Chinese currencies are not looking to replace Alipay or WeChat Pay, rather they are all likely to work together and they are decentralized, which means that it's not distributed from a central bank. However, these currencies have been under scrutiny by several central banks because of the possibility of laundering. If the currency takes off in China, it could have wide-ranging implications on the global economy. China holds reserves of foreign cash valued in the trillions of dollars, but with economic sanctions amidst a trade dispute becoming a growing concern, a new currency for China could shift the economic balance of power, reducing the reliance of Chinese finances on the foreign reserve. Still, the technology is too new to know its impact. China could be the ideal location to test the wide adoption of a digital currency, Digital payment services in China have become hugely popular and citizens are already familiar with the concept. Chinese investors have moved around $50 billion worth of digitized money in the last year, signaling a certain level of adoption in the country. Though with state regulations coming into play, the end result will be unpredictable. Digital currencies are changing how people spend money in our modern world, making it easier to exchange money peer-to-peer -peer and for business. While the future is uncertain, we can only imagine how expanding technology shapes how we save, spend and invest our money, and even how it's valued. I'm James Chow. Thank you for joining us. I am James Chow. You're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.